you how to do screencasting, how to do a couple different tricks with videos in Canva. So really kind of sharing Canva in three different ways. My name is Tisha Richmond and I am a Canva learning consultant and I'm really excited and proud to be your account. I also am a student engagement and professional development specialist in Medford uh, School District. So you just head straight up I-5 over the Siskiyou Mountains and you drop into the valley. And that is where I live. And I wrote a book called Make Learning Magical. And I share that because a lot of what I believe about how we can really transform our teaching and create these unforgettable experiences and really get our students to be creators all can happen. So many of those things can happen in Canva. And that is why I love being a consultant because I've seen the power of it in my own district as I've worked with students and teachers uh, to really unleash their creativity and really um, utilize the collaborative power of Canva as well. So I would love to know who is in the room and what your familiarity is. So are you kind of at that very beginning, maybe opened it up, but haven't really played too much yet? Um, all the way to, are you using it? Maybe not even daily. I would say weekly with students would be a five. Uh, where are you at, at that, on that spectrum? Because that kind of helps me know maybe what you have already explored already. And I am going to just, I have to bounce over. I don't know why my chat isn't showing up over there. Okay, so we've got a four and a one and a five. Awesome. Great to have you all here. And um, I love the fours and fives. If you have, if you discovered a gem that I'm not sharing, please share it. We're better together. And so I would love for everybody to really share the discoveries because that's what you'll find with Canva is that there are kind of these hidden gems that you think you've been in Canva forever. And then you discover this thing and you're like, oh my goodness, I didn't even know this was here. And I'm discovering things all the time myself. So what I'm going to do is just do a really quick um, run through for those who are at that kind of one, two level of what Canva for Education even is. And then we're going to dive into three different ways that you can use video creation in the classroom. I'm going to back out of the presentation, do a little demo so you can really see how those things actually work. And then we will wrap it up and I'll kind of leave a little challenge with you that may be something that you can do um, as we as you end your time um, after I go. And at any time, please feel free to drop um, you know, questions in the chat if you want to unmute your mic. I really want this to be helpful for you. I want you to come away going, oh my goodness, I can't wait to try these things out. And so I want to make sure that your questions get answered. So for those of you who are new to Canva for Education, it is a visual communications platform. And I would say that anything you can imagine creating digitally, you can create in Canva. So we're talking infographics, comic strips, presentations, videos, book covers, websites, um, really the sky's the limit. Anything that you can possibly think of creating in a digital way, you can do in Canva. And the thing that's really beautiful about Canva is that there are over 60,000 templates that are ready to use, customizable. So you can start with a blank slate if you want to in a variety of different dimensions and design formats, but you have these inspiration points to start with to make your own. And so it really takes that fear out of creation and you might not end up with anything like what the template started with, but at least gives you that kind of start to get moving and getting creating for you and your students. Another thing that's really powerful about Canva is that there is this very robust platform of creating and editing tools, yet the way that Canva lays it out, it's very intuitive and simple and easy to use. And so I have worked in my own districts with kids as little as kinder, and that you'd be amazed at how fast they get moving and, and finding things because this is a language that they speak. And even for those teachers who may be not feeling super tech savvy, once you just start getting in and playing, I think you will be really surprised at how, how really um, easy and intuitive it is. And then there's this really powerful set of collaborative tools as well. So you're gonna be able to get your class of students in a design altogether, maybe in groups to work on different um, design thinking activities, group work activities, and they are going, you're going to be able to give them feedback in real time. And so it's, it's a really, really beautiful, powerful tool. So I want to jump into video today. And this is just one little aspect of Canva can do. However, I think it's one of the areas of Canva that a lot of people haven't really had a chance to explore. And so I'm going to share with you those three ways 
And then we're going to back out of the presentation and I'm going to actually show you where you can find these different ways within the Canva platform. So the first um, way that you can start designing in Canva is through a video template. And when I say video template, I mean TikTok video templates, Instagram video templates, like Insta Reels, Insta Stories, YouTube templates. They have all different types of packages of like within that video template, like an entire video that you can just customize. And so what I love about that is that this platform speaks in a language that our students understand. Our students are on TikTok. They are on Instagram. They are living in that world. They are consuming those stories. They're creating those stories. And now they can get in here and speak that language that they love and demonstrate their understanding of the content and their and their understanding of the learning. And so that is a really beautiful thing. And as an educator, you can find templates too that you can give to students for that those bite-sized learning chunks and for those instructional videos that again are going to be more engaging because your students love speaking in that language. And so it's it's a really great way to create videos easily for your students to create videos easily and really be able to tap into that creativity. And so when you think about having your students create an explainer video, so maybe you want them to demonstrate their understanding of a skill or a process. Uh, in colon I taught culinary arts for a long time. So thinking about our career and technical ed classes, having them demonstrate a method, maybe the yeast bread method, that was what I was, that was the world that I lived in. It can be across all content areas, but how can you get your students explaining what they know in this creative way? Also thinking about documentary style videos, the journey of a water droplet, like how can you have them go through and share in kind of a documentary style, their understanding of the content that they're learning about. Thinking about even you as teacher wanting to share a little bit about yourself, maybe to parents, maybe to students at the beginning of a school year, maybe posting that um, wherever, whether you have a classroom website or whether you share that out um, on Google Classroom, wherever it might be, you can have that, that teacher video explaining a little bit about yourself. And then also having those video messages. So maybe you wanna give weekly reminders to your students. Maybe you wanna share little happy birthday messages. Those are quick little videos that you can create for your students as well. And then thinking about this bite-sized learning, I'm gonna share with you some resources at the end that has a video that really explains this well of how you can create these bite-sized learning chunks in a TikTok style video. So then you can have maybe a, a writing prompt for your students. Maybe it is a math problem that you wanna to give to your students, but they can, they can um, consume that in these bite-sized chunks and be able to demonstrate their learning. And then they can also create these TikTok style bite-sized learning videos as well. Thinking about having your students um, share about themselves and having them do some personal reflections in a video format is another way that you can use these video templates. Um, how to explainer videos, kind of like I was sharing before, can be in chemistry, in math, in ELA, uh, all across the subject areas. And then just thinking about digital storytelling. How can you have your students tell a story in a video format. There also are some great video templates that allow students to bring in lots of pictures and do kind of a collage. And so when you think about students maybe wanting to, um, thinking through whether it's kind of that documenting like a pro like a journey or progress or a, a method, like having them, or maybe just an event that happened at school and you want them to showcase that they're going to be able to put together these really cool video collages of the pictures that they have taken. So those are just a few different ideas for what kinds of video templates that you can start with to start really um, creating videos either as a, as the teacher or students creating those videos to demonstrate their learning. Another way that you can create videos in Canva is to create a talking presentation. And so what that means is you might create a design, a presentation style design in Canva. And then in the share menu, you're gonna find this little icon that says present and record. And so you click on that and it is going to allow you to talk through the presentation with your notes on the side. 
and be able to have kind of that picture in picture where your your you or your student's face is going to show up on the presentation as you're talking through. So thinking as the teacher who wants to maybe give an instructional present uh, an instructional um presentation that they want to you want to share out asynchronously maybe you want to share a weekly little kind of newsletter to parents in a video format and give them kind of highlights of things that have happened or things that are coming up you would be able to present and record and share that link or download in an mp4 format for whoever that presentation was for and then the third way is the screen recording. And so when you are in a design, you are going to be able to click on upload. And I'm going to show you firsthand how all of these things can be found and how they're done. But you are going to be able to either capture the screen. So if you wanted to screen record um, a Chrome window, a window on your computer, a Chrome browser, or the screen that you're on, you're gonna be able to grab that screen recording and it will pull it right into your design. You also are going to be able to do the screen recording with your face, like your the picture in picture on it, or you're just gonna be able to video record yourself without the screen and it's gonna capture that. And so really thinking about all of the creative ways that you can use all of these video recording features with students to really allow them to tap into that creativity and show what they know in just endless ways. So I want to show you um, up close what, where you can find each of these different video recording tools so that you can start designing. So we, I'm gonna show you kind of the timeline basics. I'm gonna show you how you can start with a video template. I wanna show you how you can screen record within a design. I'm gonna show you how you can present and record. And then I'm gonna share, once you have done these recordings, what that looks like when you share it out and you publish it. So I'm gonna go ahead and back out of this presentation. And we are gonna go into the home screen. And we're gonna start with the, the one, one, which is the video templates. So right now I'm on my home screen in Canva. And you're going to see right down here, I have videos. That is one way that you can start searching for templates. When I click on videos, it is going to give me lots and lots of options. So you can see right here, these easy to assemble videos. I can do Facebook videos, video messages, mobile videos, YouTube videos, video collages, YouTube video ads, slideshow. I mean, the end goes on and here's TikTok video. So lots and lots of different options. I have an Instagram reel. So when you think about students and how they're on YouTube, they're on Instagram, they're on TikTok, they're now gonna be able to express themselves in this language that they love. If you scroll down, you are going to find things in videos in categories. So I'm gonna find some templates here and I can just scroll through and find templates that I want to start with. So when you find a template that you uh, want to start with, you are simply going to click on it and it's going to bring you into that video. So I had found uh, one earlier. I'm just going to click on this one here and it's going to bring me right into that video. And this is a mobile video size. Now, when I get into that design, you're going to notice that over here in templates, there are lots of mobile video templates. So maybe you start out with a template and you decide, you know what? I really don't know that I love it anymore. I want to switch and I want to bring in a different template. You can click on any of these and it is going to swap out that template for the one that you started with and bring it in. So this one, it just brought that one straight into this, um, into this video. You could choose to swap everything out and completely replace the template all together. So you're gonna notice down here on the bottom that the this is different than a normal Canva design because it is laid out in tracks. And so you kind of see this timeline here and you can see that each segment of this video, once I click on it, it brings it up kind of large in the design. It is all laid out in different time segments. So you can see this first little, um, video segment is one minute or 1.5 seconds. And I'm gonna be able to expand that out or I'm going to be able to shorten it however I want. I also am gonna be able to do that for every single one of these. 
And every single one of these videos, it's going to allow me to make all the changes like I would in any graphic that I, that I create. So I can change the colors of any of these things, any of the graphics that are in the design. I'm going to be able to change font. I'm going to be able to change background, et cetera. I also am going to be able to add pages and transitions. So if I want to add some kind of fancy transitions from one uh, slide within the video to another, I'm going to be able to do that. And then you notice that there's three little dots here. These three little dots are going to allow me to do things like split the page. So maybe I want to split this first video segment and because I want to change the graphics from one to another, I'm going to be able to split that into two by clicking on those three little dots. I also am going to be able to bring in music. And so down here, you can see this purple strip. This is your audio. And the way that you are able to bring in audio into your video is you're going to go in elements sidebar tab on the left hand side. And when I click on elements and I click in this search bar, I'm going to scroll through and these are all of the different types of elements that I can add to my video. I'm going to click on audio and it's going to give me lots and lots of options for different types of music that I can bring in. If I type in the word happy, I'm going to be able to find music that has that maybe kind of upbeat, happy style music. And you can see that for each one of these, it is giving me the length that that particular audio segment is. Now, let's say that you had your own audio that you wanted to bring in. You're going to be able to bring that in as well. And so if I go into uploads, I'm going to be able to either upload a file. So one that I have, I have stored elsewhere, or I'm actually going to be able to record myself as well. When you bring in those files and when you record yourself, it's going to dump right down here in my uploads. And it's, that's where it's going to stay until you bring it into your design. So just be aware that, that you can bring in those files. You can bring in videos that you've taken elsewhere. So maybe you took a video on your phone. You're going to be able to upload that, those files in and bring it uh, into, your, into your design. You also are going to be able to um, edit your audio down here. And so I always uh, recommend whenever, it doesn't matter what platform you are, you're in, if you find three little dots, there's always hidden treasure <laughs> under those three little dots. And so when you click on these three little dots in audio, you can see that I'm going to be able to adjust. So I'm going to be able to um, adjust uh, that audio. I also am going to be able to add um, audio effects. So I'm going to be able to fade in and fade out in certain degrees. So see when I slide that little dot, there's kind of this um, transparent line that kind of falls over my audio so that I can gradually increase the volume of that track. I can um, fade out at the end of the track. So there's some really kind of neat little features there. You can also change the volume. So if you wanted to split audio and you wanted to turn off that audio in uh, for a certain segment of time, so maybe you brought in a video that had somebody talking and you wanted to shut off that music for just for a part of your um, video, you're going to be able to turn it on and off that that audio sound and be able to adjust it. So some pretty cool things. And, and what is neat about this is that it really is pretty easy to be able to create. And so your, no matter what age kid you are working with in the classroom, they're gonna be able to navigate this pretty easily. You also are gonna be able to add as many pages as you want. So you can bring in video that is already within the Canva library. So I can click on videos and I can search a video that I want, as soon as I click on it, it is going to pop that into my um, into my presentation. Now, if I was if I'm clicked on this particular slide, that video is going to pop into that slide. If I am clicked on a new page, 
it is going to bring that video into a new page. And so you just kind of have to pay attention to what you have highlighted down here in the timeline, because whatever you're clicked on is where that video is going to pop in. And now I'm going to be able to expand that video to fit however I want within that particular page. I'm going to pause there for just a minute to see if you have questions um, before I move on to another feature. Let me see. I love it. Okay, no questions? Okay. And I would just recommend just start playing and just start just creating. And once you start playing, you are going to discover really how pretty intuitive this is. Um, you can even loop things, you can auto things. And so whenever you click on anything within a design, these editing tools up here are gonna tell you what you are gonna be able to do with whatever you are clicked on to. And so just pay attention to that. So right now I'm clicked on this video. So it's giving me options for editing that video it's giving me options for playback, crop, flip, and animate. So I don't know if you just caught that when I clicked on edit, there is a background remover. And so think about that. Um, this is, I don't know if I clicked on this video, um, it'd be interesting to see what it removed. But if you have, let's say, a, I think especially if there's a focal point within your picture um, or your video, it's going to remove the background from that. So this is kind of a funny one to try, but if I brought in a video of a, of a person maybe sitting on the beach, it's gonna remove that beach and just leave the person. And so definitely play around with that. Thinking about um, like bringing in a kid, maybe recording um, a video and then taking that background away from him and then putting himself in on a beach or on a mountaintop. Those are things that you're gonna be able to do in Canva. All right, so we're gonna move on to this upload piece. Now, if I click on record yourself, it is going to allow you to either record just your camera, your camera and screen or your screen. So if I click camera, um, this is something that I did not realize at first. First of all, you can change um, your, you can add filters, effects. Um, so that's really a cool thing. You're also able to mirror your camera. You can turn off if you just want the audio. Um, and when you record, so I'm just going to click record, three, two, one. And I'm just going to share how awesome this feature is in Canva. I'm going to click done. And then I'm going to click save and exit. And what happens as soon as that video processes, processes it's going to jump, drop down into this um, upload area here. And I'm just going to share how awesome this feature is in Canva. I'm gonna, so as soon as I it comes to my uploads, now I'm able to bring that into my video. So now if I created that video, I can make it as big as I want. And then I also can remove the background from it. And so now I could bring in a background like um, an ocean. And then I can drop my video over it. So it looks like I am actually sitting on the ocean um, talking. And so thinking about that and thinking about students being able to create these videos that really allow for just this, this awesome creativity um, is pretty cool. So you can see now there is no background. It's just me talking. So uh, really, really fun options there. Just as I clicked on record myself for the camera, I can do the same again with screen. So if I wanted to maybe um, record a, let's say a window on my, let's say I wanted to, to do this one here. I can click here. Let's see. And now it is going to allow me to record this. And so I am going to be able to click record. I think it's recording already. It's gonna count down. And then I can screen record, talk about whatever I wanna talk about, come back. Whoops, it didn't start. Click done. And now that screen recording is also going to be brought into that design. And so I'm gonna be able to um, make that screen recording whatever size that I want to make it. I also could, if I wanted to, 
go into frames within Canva. And I love doing this when you want to be really creative and kind of arrange your, um, your videos in a really creative way. I can bring in a frame and then drop my video in that frame. So it looks like my screencast is actually in a computer. So, I mean, thinking about that, having your students be able to record themselves talking, sharing their learning, being able to arrange it within this video format with music and just a really um, creative way is just, is just awesome. And you could also have your students work collaboratively on this. So if you shared this template with a group of students or maybe a pair of students, they would be able to create this video together and be able to work on it on their own devices at the same time. So the last way, so I showed you how you can start from a video template. I shared with you how you're going to be able to click on upload and record from there. I also wanna share with you how you can present and record. So if I am in this presentation right now, so this is a, a, the presentation that I'm giving you. If I click on share, I'm going to be able to go into my more menu and click on present and record. When I click on present and record and go into my recording studio, it is going to allow me to talk through this presentation and I can add my notes. The notes are not going to show up in the recording, only the slides are. So it will count down three, two, one. You can see my picture over here on the left hand side. I can talk about each slide. I can move on to the next slide when I'm ready. Again, having my notes on the side that are not gonna be seen by anyone else and just keep going through my presentation. When I'm done, I click end recording and it is going to save that recording that I can either download as an MP4 or I would be able to um, share the link to that recording with others. What's cool about that is when it saves that recording, it puts these little, so you can see here, I can copy the link, I can save and exit, et cetera. But what it does is it creates these little bullet points in the recording so that whoever's watching it knows exactly when you start talking about the next slide because there's a little bullet point on the timeline. So it's really nice, especially if somebody wants to slide three because you're talking about information that they want to revisit they're going to be easily know when you're starting to talk about slide three. And so um, those are the main three ways that you can create videos in Canva. I would definitely recommend that you just start, just start creating one. Think about something that you want to capture and just go for it.